What's going on guys? This is Lance Corey here at Thrash and Supply. And today I have my buddy Thomas's Dyna up on the lift. Thomas got this thrash and exhaust from us back in 2014. This is one of the first exhausts ever out of the jig. And as you can see over the past six years, it's got some tarnish to it. And I wanted to sit here today and show you guys how to maintain a stainless steel exhaust system and keep it always looking fresh. So you guys want to grab yourself a 3M Scotch-Brite pad, uh, the green or the red. Uh, this red feels a little bit grittier than the green. And so basically I would use this red on some of the gnarlier areas, then go to the green and then get yourself a gray or white one. This one's a lot softer and this one's gonna shine it up quite a bit. And if you're kind of working through something that you're trying to get off the pipe, you can get yourself some uh, metal polish. I grabbed myself this Mother's Metal Polish. And let me show you guys what I can do to the exhaust. So before I start going after my exhaust system or Thomas's exhaust system, you kind of want to see that the grain goes this way. It's spiraling around. So if I do this to the pipe, it's going to scratch it and you're going to ruin the grain that you've had. You can bring it back by doing this, but instead I'm just going to stay in this motion, basically this motion, be able to keep that grain going in the same direction from when I got the exhaust and you can see it already coming off a little bit. So basically, we notice the exhaust can tarnish and what we find is it's usually road grime. It could be detail spray that it accidentally kind of dusted off of your tank onto your exhaust and then you go start it, don't realize it's there. Um, it could be your foot that actually touches the exhaust system, leaves rubber on it. Uh, stuff like this that we're seeing on this exhaust, we kind of chalk it up to, to something off of the road. As you can see, it's all kind of from the front. And again, it, it kind of burns in as you ride the exhaust, as you heat it up, as the pipe's getting a couple hundred degrees, and then uh, it kind of gets into the metal. So that's what we're gonna basically rub out right now. So again, that was dry. You can see it already kind of taken some of it off. I'm gonna go ahead and add the metal polish to it. I'm gonna put it right on the pipe, get it on there. Follow the grains, don't get all wacky. Just to show you guys what it's kind of doing. And again, you can see that middle section that we've been working on. It's getting back to its original state. periodically wipe it off just to kind of see the areas that I've been able to get through a little bit easier. And then I can kind of focus on the areas that need a little bit more love, like this section right here. So I kind of just have been sticking to this section right here a little bit more. I did a little bit of the back. I'm sticking to this section just to kind of show you guys a before and after of just this head pipe. And you can see I kind of cut this to be a little bit smaller so I can just kind of put it in the palm of my hand and, and go around. It's not hitting the bike or anything. Again, just following that grain. And let's show you what it looks like real quick. This is after a couple minutes. You can see what it was and what it is now. And that, that section right there took me maybe four minutes. So there you have it. I spent about 45 minutes on this exhaust. Uh, my buddy Dom came in and kind of did a little section of it because he wanted to see what happened. But again, I just used metal polish, uh, a couple different color Scotch-Brite pads. Uh, I haven't even touched this white one yet. This white one's a very fine one. You can use white or gray, but this also depends on how shiny you want it. You can see right now, I followed the grain lines. Uh, I sp always spun this way. I always grabbed a piece and you can almost even, when you're getting towards the end, do some very slow kind of hard lifts and move over. Hard lift and move over. 
to keep the grains going in the direction that, uh, that they originally were going in around the exhaust this way. Um, and then again, if you want to take the, the white one, this is the finest one. And you can tell even just feeling it that it's really going to shine it up. And again, always lift when you go over to the side. You're not going to get any cross. Um, but again, you can see how shiny it's getting. If you do this every couple months on your exhaust, it's going to just stay looking fresh all the time. You just want to keep it looking clean. The more you do it, the less you're going to have to do this vigorously. This pipe has not been touched ever in six years. And you can see what I was able to do to it in a matter of 45 minutes with a little bit of elbow grease, scotch bright pads, and metal polish. So something I like to do also as soon as I'm done to get all of the finger oils, any oils we had gotten on it, the polish off of it, uh, use a brake parts cleaner, something that leaves no residue, dries quick, uh, and is safe on metals. I'll spray it on the rag, get the rag wet, and then just kind of go over the exhaust. You can see it drying up real quick. This is kind of getting all of the oils and our finger oils off of it polish off of it and again this pipe will actually get gold again um, you can see I didn't do the muffler too much because the muffler didn't have too much wear on it uh, I did run a little bit lightly the white pad just to kind of shine it back up staying with the grain but I didn't feel that that needed it as much this pipe will go back to gold the way it was but those marks will no longer be on the system and so there you have it. We took Thomas's six-year-old OG thrash and exhaust system, a little elbow grease, some Scotch-Brite pads, and some mother's metal polish, and we have the exhaust looking fresh.